thank you very much, um, Mr. Chairman, and I'll be very brief. <clears throat> we have prepared for the committee, and I'd like to ask the uh, staff to distribute it, a background and timeline on Lieutenant General Michael Flynn and um, some of the key dates involved, which may be of help to the subcommittee. And I would just like to take this opportunity to thank the subcommittee. Um, Chairman um, Graham and, and uh, Ranking Member Whitehouse, I think you've done a good job and your whole subcommittee has, and so thank you very, very much. Um, I'd just like to make a few comments, if I might, and put all the remarks uh, in the record. <clears throat> I think it is a foregone conclusion about Russia's involvement, and we see it replicated even in the French election, perhaps not to the extent or in the way, but certainly uh, replicated. Um, On February 9th, 2017, uh, the Washington Post reported that either Flynn had misled the vice president or that Pence had misspoken. Lieutenant General Flynn resigned his post on February 13th, four days after the Post broke this story. There are still many unanswered questions about General Flynn, including who, know what, who knew what and when for example, the press is now reporting that in addition to the warning from Sally Yates, concerns were raised by former President Obama directly to then-President-elect Trump, 95 days before Flynn resigned. So the question, what role did Flynn play in communications with the Russians, both after the first warning by President Obama and then after the warning by Sally Yates? and I hope to ask that today. What role did Flynn play in high-level national security decisions, again, both during the 95 days and the 18 days when the White House was on notice? So I look forward to hearing more uh, about this um, uh, from you, um, Acting Attorney General Yates. Uh, you have stated that you warned the White House on January 26 nearly three weeks before Flynn resigned, that he had not been truthful and might be vulnerable to Russian blackmail. Um, and finally, there are other troubling questions regarding Russia's relationships and connections with Trump advisors and associates. And there are questions about whether anyone was the target of Russian intelligence, either to be exploited or cultivated. Uh, so I will put my whole remarks in the um, record, Mr. Chairman, and I hope to ask some questions around these few comments. Thank you very much for this opportunity.